Okay, well, welcome to Linux Music One, where this week again I prove that these are totally unscripted sessions and you can watch me wallow around and uh, try to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, Sonic Visualizer 2, what's more that's out there? Stick with me. Okay, as I said last time, uh, I usually use Sonic Visualizer to investigate a single sound to see what what's going into and what makes up that sound but that's that's not the only thing it's used for in fact i don't i don't think it's usually used for that i think by intention it's used to analyze uh pieces of music so let's let's uh So there's a little intro to uh, Carmelita, and it's, uh, I mean, a piece of music, more than a sound. And I just want to briefly this week show you a couple other things that uh, Sonic Visualizer uh, does. It's because it's a really, really full and complex tool. Uh, let's go and add a pane, uh, which I did by clicking add a pane, and come up here to transforms and look at analysis. So. Uh, there's a couple things here that uh, I I'd use, uh, although, frankly, I mean, mel frequency septal coefficients. What is that? I don't have a clue. Uh, I don't use that. So, but um, tempo and beat tractor, and you can see it working down there. And it comes down and says, okay, uh, 105 beats a minute. 103, oh, my timing's a little ragged. Uh, 109, oh, my timing's very ragged. And that's uh, one thing this does. Uh, another thing that's, that's pretty cool, and I'll add another pane. And you can just, same way, you can add as many panes here as you like. Uh, now, this one's actually pretty, pretty slick. Uh, when I find it. Yes, key detector key. And it's going to go through here and it's going to listen to all these sounds and tell what's going on. Now, because uh, one thing, this is a Dobro and uh, it's a little, uh, you know, with those slide notes, it's it's a little shaky probably for something like this instead of a, uh, a straight finger picking or a piano or whatever it be. But as you can see, if I come through here, it'll tell me which chords are being played and and that and that's pretty slick and then let's add another pane and roll down and take a look at it and come down here and transform and polyphonic transcription and it will come through here now i always choose MIDI notes because that kind of centers it on the screen but as you can go through here and you'll see your same information of what what uh, notes you're playing and there's a little MIDI piano roll that we we know what that means and uh, yeah there you go so there's the actual notes being played now uh, as much as it can tell on like I say on a dobro where you're sliding around uh, now, I don't know why you do this, but if you weren't using other tools, another thing that this does is it has uh, all your effects that you've loaded into your machine, Labsta, uh, uh, whatever, uh, the effects. And I think I mentioned last time you should, go to, you should go to the website for Sonic Visualizer because they've got a lot of effects that are exclusive just to... Uh, analyzing music, but if you wanted to come down here and uh, I don't know, uh, not an exciter. Okay, I don't know what that is, but here's an effect we can apply, and it applied it. And well, it didn't do anything exciting for me, but you get the idea. So, all the effects that are loaded into your machine uh, are all here. And you could choose any one of them. Uh, we'll put on a chorus. Okay, and like 
just like before, even though we can come in here and really uh, look at what's being played. You remember the heat, heat maps that says right here, uh, I appear to be playing, well, it says C-sharp, but maybe my Dobro was a tinch out of tune because I thought that was a D. But anyway, uh, so there it is, Sonic Visualizer, really nice tool. Um, I'll show you one more thing, come down here, or, and, and we'll use the MIDI thing and get our MIDI notes. And uh, it will actually bring up what's with that MIDI note and how long it is and, and those kind of things. And you can annotate this and put whatever you want on this piano roll. Uh, use that later. So, uh, <laughs> and you can do various edit functions. The edit is is kind of a... Oh, well, you get the idea. Come in here and... Well, I didn't. Oh. Duh. Okay. And delete. Or add or whatever you want. I suggest if when you delete, don't uh, select all. You might want to have gone back and selected a single MIDI note. But that's that function. And so anyway, Sonic Visualizer... A lot more to it than uh, just uh, analyzing a specific sound. Uh, I don't use this much, especially on effects, because I I go into my doll or whatever else to do my effects. But uh, as far as the analysis uh, up here in the transform section, some of these things are pretty nice. What chords being played? What notes being played? Uh, hey, if you want to tab something out, I don't know, put a put a little riff in here from someone, tab it out. Uh, if your ears aren't working well for you, all kinds of other things in here like chromograph. But you know, I don't I don't know what a chromograph is really. I I uh, but all kinds of things to play with, and uh, that's it. A little short one this week, and we'll we'll do more next week. And oh. Yes, the tabs for the various transforms that we've put on here. So as you can see, as we've gone through this and, and tweaked it and put on the uh, whatever it was, the exciter, et cetera, et cetera, you can see the uh, actual effects of those. So that's it. Sonic Visualizer. Uh, more than just looking at an individual sound, you can look at a piece of music, uh, get, it, get the beats, figure out the chords, see the actual MIDI notes or the actual notes in there in a, in a MIDI piano roll format. And so that's it. Have a blast. Okay, well, that was Sonic Visualizer, and uh, sorry it was a little bit sloppy, but uh, like I say, I use it mainly to analyze sounds. I don't use it much on whole pieces of music much. Uh, as always, if your stuff doesn't look like my stuff, uh, check the versions. And uh, again, I mean, there's a there's a ton of playing around. I don't know, frankly, what half that stuff means, but but it's uh, kind of cool just to click things, lay them over tracks, see what what colors come up, see what it's trying to tell you. So uh, I urge you uh, get it, try it, play with it, and otherwise, I'll see you next week.